Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. We're going to dive on in and see what's coming through for you in love and relationships in the upcoming days and week. Do keep in mind Gemini, this reading is for entertainment purposes only. So take what speaks for you and leave what doesn't apply. If you are looking for a personal reading, then feel free to reach out. All the details on how to connect with me and work with me will be in the show more section. Equally, Gemini, if you enjoy this read, feel free to let me know by liking and or subscribing and sharing. Every little bit helps. Okay, so we're shuffling online today, Gemini, um, and we're shooting from a different spot. So hopefully you like this spot. First card coming out is the Page of Swords. You could be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or in the upcoming days and week, there is someone here that is in their head, okay, is feeling curious. There could be someone that is younger than you, um, that is keen to get to know you. If it is um, an already existing partner, if this is someone that you're committed to, I do feel that they are, I don't know, I feel like they, they're wanting to ask you questions. I don't know, I'm getting that, the whole, you know, I want to ask you questions to get to know you. For the, for the most part with the Ace of Cups, this is a new love interest. Or it could be a fairly fresh new connection that you have with someone, um, that you're about to have with someone here. But back to you coupled up Geminis, I feel like your partner wants to get to know you on a whole new level, on a deeper level with the Ace of Cups here. Um, or it could be that in the upcoming days and week that this person is getting to know another side of you or is getting to see another side of you and maybe they want to ask you questions around that. Okay. For others of you, there is someone new on the scene that could be keeping their eye on you okay they're interested in you you've sparked their interest okay this person is keen to get to know you as much as they can um they could be gathering information on you through social media through friends through outside sources. Okay. You've got the Judgment card and the Nine of Cups here. You've got the Page of Cups, could be a water sign that you're dealing with, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I feel like this person is fantasizing about you and dreaming about you and really thinking about you like non-stop. Okay, too many cards. I feel like to this person, you make them very, very happy, Nine of Cups. Okay, I'm sensing here that someone's really happy, they're on top of the world. You could be their wish fulfillment. Or there could be someone coming on the scene that is really making you really happy. Re yeah, I just see someone here jumping for joy. You know, feeling like on cloud nine. 
okay you're feeling like you're on cloud nine whether this is someone new whether you're already coupled up i do feel like you're entering a new chapter here that is really ultimately emotionally fulfilling and um, with the page of cups you know this is this can be your energy as well where you're this could have been something that you've been wishing for for a really long time or dreaming of for a really long time. You've been dreaming to meet someone like this. You've been dreaming to have a particular moment with someone special here. Okay. I feel like for you single Geminis out there who are on the scene, on the dating scene here, um, I feel like there's someone in particular that is sparking your interest. And I feel like with the judgment card here, you're going to let this person know that you're keen to go out on a date with them or you're keen to meet up with them or you're keen to get to know them okay or vice versa i like that the ace of cups is here too um, because this is an opportunity for emotional happiness Okay, there's an opportunity for emotional happiness this week. There could be someone here um, that is pouring their heart out to you. Okay, it's like with the judgment and the Ace of Cups here that this person is opening up and revealing um their true feelings for you here. We've got the Five of Pentacles. I feel like this person um, that you're dealing with, um, they're very elated that they've met someone like you because with the five of pentacles i feel like up to this point they haven't met anybody like you in the past with the five of pentacles um they may have been in relationships where it didn't work out where they failed um, it sort of just didn't go all the way uh, because it's the five of pentacles it's not the ten of pentacles so Ten of Pentacles speaks to success. Five of Pentacles is telling me that there's a lack. So this person in their previous relationships, there was always something missing in their relationships. There was always something missing in this connection, in their connections. Got the Two of Swords here, which is um, the overall energy of being in two minds okay so if you are uncertain about this relationship i feel like your answers are coming with the judgment card the page of swords is ask more questions Okay, if you're feeling indecisive about a situation that you're involved in with your current partner, the Two of Swords invites you and the Page of Swords invites you to ask questions to get your person to open up so you can receive the answers. I hope that makes sense, Gemini. We'll get some more information around your person with the animal spirit cards and the tarot cards. Um, we're going to use the Lioness Oracle Tarot just to draw um, some extra messages of how your person's coming through. Um, like extra messages, that is. 
Yeah, but you make this person really, really happy, Gemini, um, because of the Nine of Cups here. And the Five of Pentacles tells me that they haven't found anyone like you before. They haven't met anybody like you before. Yeah, we've got the octopus here. They're coming through as the octopus. Again, the downward pointing triangle speaks to the element of water. So I feel like this person is really just pouring their heart out to you. Okay, now the octopus is intelligent. It knows what it's doing. So this purpose, this person is on purpose. Okay, they're not... Um, it's not used to manipulate you or deceive you in any way. This is this person's intention is to reveal um, how they truly feel. Okay. And it would be, you know, with the octopus here, the brain being lit up, it would be in their best interest at this point to be genuine about their true feelings. Okay. I, I see your person is very happy. You make them very happy. Okay, let's just grab a tarot card for your person as well. This one wants to... We've got the death card here. Which speaks to changes, transformations. Okay, your person is really letting go of the past. So they can enter a new chapter with you you could be dealing with a strong scorpio here as well for some of you gemini's but i see growth with the death card for your person okay their their emotions are growing uh deeper for you here and i say growth because the death card speaks to scorpio and scorpio is all about growth okay um it's all about regenerative energy because they are ruled by the planet pluto so there's a regeneration happening here for you um, Geminis out there that are coupled up, perhaps you've been together for a while, um, perhaps you've lost the spark in your connection and you're questioning your person's, how they truly feel and if they still love you. Um, I see this person's feelings like blossoming like they're regenerating again. It's like the feelings are being reborn again here. So there we have it, Gemini. That's what I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed this read. Until next time, take care.